Ay, ay, ay. I'm having some issues with my camera. It keeps uh, deleting the data. When I hit record, I'll talk a little bit and then it'll delete it. And so I don't even know what I have and what I don't have. I know I started off talking about FlipCon and the fact that uh, I did a little review on FlipCon last time and talked about kind of the event overall and what we did. And I gave some slight opinion on kind of the, you know, whether or not it was educational, things like that. So if you watch that or didn't see that, check out my last video. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna add to that is a lot of comments were kind of negative about how it didn't seem like a worthwhile event. A lot were positive saying they wish they had been there. Um, so I will just say this, I think the biggest value of FlipCon or an event like that is networking. There was a bunch of people who met uh, pickers and flippers in their area that they built relationships with. And I thought that was cool, right? I met someone who said they had met someone who was two towns away and then they're now gonna go sourcing together. So I thought that was kind of neat. I think that sort of thing is like, um, you can't even put a price tag on that, right? Like meeting someone and building a relationship with someone that will be a friend maybe forever. I think that is cool. For me, I did think that part was probably the best part it was just like meeting people, a bunch of people all in one place, bunch of YouTubers, bunch of resellers, things like that. I thought that was really neat. And uh, that was probably the biggest value add. If I did an event, I probably wouldn't do um, seminars because I find them boring. A lot of people liked them. And a lot of the, I don't, I didn't talk to anyone there that had spent 300 bucks who said, oh, this was a rip off. I wish I hadn't come. I did not meet that person. Uh, and I, I hung out with a lot of people who paid and came, right? I went out to lunch with some of them. I sat down and had dinner with some of them. Like, you know, I met a lot of people who were there and I thought it was a fun event. And so would I pay $300 um, for me? Yeah, I probably would. Uh, just for the networking side of it, I would pay, pay 300 bucks. I don't know if I'd pay for Tina to come too, uh, because I don't think she'd get any value uh, out of it. And she didn't come, but I know a lot of people brought their wives that were uh, talking or husbands. And I don't know if those people would have paid that much for a spouse if they weren't really going to get anything out of it. So, but yeah, anyways, enough FlipCon talk. Uh, I talked about the NC Piggy stickers, which I think I didn't lose that footage here. Let's skip to that. And then I'll be back after I put in the one that I didn't lose. Oh, blah, 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 Wayne's World. But yeah, anyways, you can decide for yourself if you'd want to do an event like that. If we do an uh, like trash to cash event, I don't think it'll ever be $300, but maybe, maybe one day I'll do something that big. But it was a lot going on in that event, so I can kind of get the price. Um, you know, I like to keep it more minimalistic. Like, I don't know if I would do panels on my event just because I, with my ADD, got bored in the panels and it felt like work. And so if I'm feeling like it's work, I don't really think it's for me. So if I ever do an event, I probably won't do educational panels unless everyone really, really wants that. And then I'll suffer through uh, <laughs> long educational panels. Uh, I sold this Euro hinge jig. This one I got at a yard sale recently. I paid like three bucks, two bucks maybe. And I couldn't find a comp anywhere. So I just picked a random price on it. I picked, uh, what, 15 bucks, right? Is that what I picked? 14.99. And I did plus shipping and it sold. It took only about a month to sell too. So kind of cool. Let me show you something that I got in the mail, guys. It's kind of cool. This is from uh, Zerkata Designs. Okay, it's a, a viewer sent me this. NC Piggy stickers. The NC Piggy's like squished up against the window. Anyways, yeah, so Zerkata Designs sent me NC Piggy stickers, which I guess I'll throw up on the store. I know a lot of you want a real NC Piggy, but this will suffice for now, right? If I just uh, have some NC Piggy stickers you can put up. So I'll put these on my store for a couple bucks and you'll be able to get an NC Piggy sticker. I'm gonna put one up on my wall. So I am still researching the whole like more NC Piggy things. I'm such a cheapskate, guys. Um, to get like real NC piggies made is gonna be expensive, but are gonna be awesome if I do it. I just have to actually put in the effort. Here's the question. Would you pay like 20 bucks for an NC piggy? It's a lot of money, it's for a plush. But maybe you would. Let me know in the comments below and it'll help me decide if I wanna go forward with this project because it is a pricey project. All right, and just to recap what I sold, I sold a big thing of matchbooks for $29.99. It was like a huge lot of $250. I did an auction starting it at $29.99. One person bid ended at $29.99 a week later, which pretty much always happens. I feel like if I had put it at 30 bucks, I would have gotten 30 bucks, but since I put it at, or 40, if I had put it at 40, I would have gotten 40 bucks, but instead I put it at 30 and I got 30 bucks. So I just feel like auctions, wherever you start them was where they end. I think there would have been a limit on the matchbooks, right? Like I don't know that I necessarily would have gotten 50 on them. Uh, here's a picture of it, by the way. It's like 250 plus matchbook. And uh, yeah, so 
they sold, so that's good. Uh, and then let's pull our next order out of FL73. Today we did some listing. Uh, I listed like one or two things, but Tina listed probably 15, and she listed high dollar items. I was talking to her about it. We were talking about kind of the eBay store as a whole and uh, how we're not really satisfied with the amount of money it's bringing in. Okay, Yahtzee, uh, handheld gold version. I pulled this out right under Kevin and Carrie's noses at a yard sale in uh, Tennessee. That sold for $50 and I think I paid a dollar or two for it. So that was a really nice flip. But yeah, I would say that's like, okay, with FlipCon, a big thing it did was motivate me to uh, generate more income with my eBay store because I'm doing a lot of work for my eBay store, but I'm not bringing in a lot of money for my eBay store. And it's not terrible money. It's just last year I was bringing in a lot more money. And you know, me and Tina talked about it and she said, well, what can we do to make it better to like earn more stuff like that? And it looks like we have a listing error, so this is a bad start. Hold on. Okay, so I think this is a listing error. I'm gonna message the buyer. But it says we sold 2X L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure, blah, 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 blah. And the picture only shows one, and I only see one in here. So I'm gonna message that buyer and say, hey, this is only one item. Uh, do you still want the order, or did you think it was two? Because if they thought it was two, I'm gonna have to cancel the order. I do not have two. Okay, so I just messaged the buyer and I let them know about the mistake and asked them if they want me to cancel and give a refund. Um, so they paid $12.53. I think they expected two items. I only have one, so we're probably gonna cancel that order. It happens. Anyway, so I was talking to Tina about like, what do we need to do? Hold on, now I'm confused. Oh, they paid $12.53 including shipping. Okay, anyways, so it would have been $5.99 plus shipping. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be canceling that because it definitely looks like it says two. So yeah, me and Tina were talking like, what can we do to make our store generate more money. And there was really no way to deny that the biggest thing halting our revenue or slowing our revenue versus last year is I'm not listing as much. I'm just not. I've been busier uh, with my day job, kicking back into full gear uh, with the end of the you know what. And uh, I just, I just have not had time, uh, especially with all my travel, right? With my work, I've been going to California and Vegas and up, you know, next week or something, I'm going to Amsterdam. I just haven't had time to list. Now, Tina has been trying to help and she's listed a lot more than she did last year. But the stuff she's been listing is really low dollar items. Uh, she enjoys listing DVDs and VHS and, you know, makeup, stuff like that. Stuff that's not necessarily high value, but it's really easy to list. Now, we definitely still haven't been listing as much as last year, even with her help. It's probably like, we're probably listing 30% as much as we were a year ago at this time. And the items are lower value. So it's really just not even close. Sold this Build-A-Bear, Promise Pets to Donna. Thank you, Donna. Hey Dave, I hope you have a wonderful time at Flip, Flip Con. Great plush and fantastic treasures from your store. Loved your recent cooking video. Looking forward to more Donna. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate that. A lot of people like my uh, flautas, world's best flautas video that I did on my cooking channel recently. Cooking channel's world's best recipes. A lot of you guys ask me that. That's that's what it's called. So anyways, that puppy sold for $13.50 plus shipping. See, so yeah, at the end of the day, it's a combination of... <laughs> This is funny. Uh, the next thing Donna bought is from the DVD rack. In, in the last, or two episodes ago, maybe three episodes ago, uh, Carrie, American Arbitrage, was here helping me pull my orders. And he totally spoiled the ending of this movie, which is like a pretty epic ending. And he just spoiled it. And he said, it's been long enough that you can spoil the end of a movie that's this old. Let me see if I can find it. The Sixth Sense, Sixth, with my lisp, it's hard to say that. Sense on DVD sold and uh, yeah, I mean, if you know the ending of that, you know that that's a pretty big ending to spoil. What year was this? I don't know what year this came out. It probably is long enough. It's probably like 1999 or something, like a 20 year old movie. So I guess it's okay to spoil it now. Maybe 2000, early 2000. 99. Oh man, I got it perfectly the first try. Anyways, that sold for 449 plus shipping. And then we sold, I'm gonna have to do a partial refund on the uh, shipping probably, Donna. Hopefully I remember. I have such problems remembering this keepsake ornament. Anyway, so once you come to the conclusion of, hey, you need to either list more or list better stuff, uh, it, it kind of moved on to the next thing of, we need to figure out how we can do that. So today, Tina has been listing much better items out of my store, and she was actually really surprised as she was doing it. She kept being like, Dave, this is worth $60. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why I bought it. Dave, this is worth $50. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's why I bought it. And she's like, but Dave, I only listed 17 items today. I'm like, I get that. And I was editing all day, but I was kind of sitting across from her while she was editing. 
And I was like, she's like, Dave, normally I would have listed like 30 DVDs in the amount of time I've spent today. Normally we're selling, listing, you're listing 30 DVDs that sell for $5 a piece. That's like $150 in potential profit that you've listed. And I went through like the 15 or 17 items she listed today, and it was like six, $700 worth of listings, right? From 17 or 18 listings, she gets like $600, or do 30 listings and get $150. And, and I think we need to start thinking about it more like that, and uh, it's gonna help us bring our revenue way up. Uh, speaking of that, I sold this Hallmark keepsake ornament for $6.30, also to Donna Carter. Thank you, Donna, for your support. Anyways, <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? I just totally zoned out. I got a funny message. <sighs> uh, yeah, so I, I think this is going to be good, guys. Uh, my, what is my 90 day total down to? I don't know. It's lower. I guess I could check on the computer. The other thing me and Tina talked about for the eBay store was like my travel. So my travel, every time I'm traveling, I'm turning off my store and I'm killing my momentum every single time I turn it off. And then I come back and I have to build up the momentum again, build up the momentum again. Okay, my 90 day total is $11,000. This time last year, it was closer to $20,000. So my co my store's business has been cut in half uh, just because honestly, my day job is cutting into it. The travel is cutting into it. All this stuff is cutting into it. And uh, you know, we need to fix it. So we talked, uh, what is it, Noises Off? Is that really the name of this next DVD? Is that a thing? Noises Off, I've never heard of that. Uh, but yeah, so we talked about the fact that I keep having to shut my store down. Obviously that's hurting my momentum, that's hurting my store, and I need to do something about it. So Tina said she's willing to learn how to ship and fulfill orders while I travel. And you know, the travel's gonna slow down here pretty soon, but for the time being, it's still happening. And I really don't wanna turn my store off for another week and a half when I go to Amsterdam soon. Oh, here it is, Noises Off. Here it is, Noises Off, starring Michael Caine, sold for $4.99 plus shipping. And these are exactly the listings I'm talking about that we list, they're very easy. Uh, and another benefit is they're very easy to ship, right? So there is a benefit in selling that sort of stuff. But we really need to step it up and start shipping, listing, et cetera, bigger stuff. And that's the thing, last year when I was listing, I would list big stuff, because I, you know, a big part of it is I'm outsourcing it, and so I know the valuable stuff. So I go buy two Fitbits, which aren't even hard to list, and I would list them right away because I knew they were valuable. Now I buy those two Fitbits, I put them in a pile and they don't get ever listed because they're not a DVD. Not necessarily because they're hard to ship, but that's just, Tina would always go get the DVDs first, right? Three Musketeers on VHS, on Clamshell VHS sold, that's kind of weird. That's, <laughs> I don't even know how long I've had that listed. Sold that for $4.99 plus shipping as well. But yeah, I mean, all that to say, as the NC Piggy would say, the death pile's fine. <laughs> Don't feel too judged about your death pile, but it would be really nice to start selling bigger items, more high dollar items. Because, and it's, this is another thing, right? Like I've been, and I'm not good at tracking it. I'm really not. But I, I get my eBay payments daily. And I've noticed this year, it's like, eBay sent you a payout, $34. eBay sent you a payout, $32. eBay, it feels like every eBay payout for me is like between 20 and 40 bucks. Whereas last year, every time I got payouts, it would be 150 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, because I was selling high dollar, high value item. And I just haven't been doing that. I've been selling 10 DVDs at five bucks a piece. So it's 50 bucks. eBay takes their fees. I get a $32 payout. I sold Care Bears. This is really cute Care Bears plush. This one is called Best Friend Bear, which I guess the star and the heart are best friends. And he's got a little Care Bear on his butt. Sold for 12 bucks, 30 cents plus shipping. So enough about that. Let's just see what happens, okay? Let's see if we follow through and actually get our store. I think, you know, when we were at FlipCon, a lot of people were like, yeah, you know, we sold $140,000 last year on eBay. And I'm like, man, I could do that. <laughs> but I'm just not, I'm not doing it. And it's like frustrating because I've been back at this for a couple of years and I ha feel like I haven't grown enough. So that's just me judging myself a little bit. I sold this melted popcorn plastic thingy for $11 plus shipping. The Christmas stuff's starting to sell, guys. You should already have your Halloween stuff listed, but if you don't, time to get it listed because that stuff's gonna start selling here too soon. Soon too, here, not here. I keep seeing TikToks about people setting up their Halloween decorations, so clearly about that time. I sold this as a part of a new wave oven. Uh, I got one for 10 bucks or something, and I decided to part it out because it seemed like it sells for more if you just sell the pieces. This piece sold for 13, so just this one piece pays for almost the whole entire new wave oven. Don't ask me how I'm going to ship that, by the way, 
because I don't know. Maybe I could just wrap it in bubble wrap and put it in a trash bag. Yeah, world's best picker. <laughs> oh, well, I've got golf clubs down here. Interesting. I don't even know where I get these things. I buy, buy golf clubs and never do anything with them. I did procrastinate a lot on making this video. I knew I had to make it and I've just been distracted all day not doing it. You know, like I said, I was editing and then I was making a TikTok and then I went to the Goodwill. I want to talk about the Goodwill for a minute here too. And this might be a fluke. Yeah, it might be a fluke, okay? But I went to the Goodwill. FL85, I sold something. What is this, a cup? Yeah, FL85 has a cup in it. I need to get a drink too, because my shirt's drying out. But yeah, I went to the Goodwill with Carrie and Dawn when they were here and I walk in there and I instantly find, right when I walk in, I find an item that is like spy gear, right? It's like a spy gear thing. And this spy gear thing is, um, has a price tag of four bucks, all right? And I look it up on eBay and sure enough, it sells for 60. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll buy this, right? Four bucks into 60 in five minutes, I can take that. And I, I did it because Carrie and Dawn love going to the Goodwill. They're constantly sourcing at the Goodwill, so I figured it makes sense. And, uh, I found a couple other things too. I sold this, this is a cup. I'll show you a picture of it so I don't have to take the bubble wrap off of it. This I bought from Yakov Benz on his eBay store and I think I paid like five bucks mostly to support him. Sold it for nine, made a little bit of a profit. Relaxation is an art is what it says. Put it over here so it doesn't fall. Yeah, I went to the Goodwill and I found stuff. And so today I was editing like all day and I'm like, man, I really need a break from sitting on my butt. Like Callie, my eight year old, do you want to come with me to the Goodwill? She loves to shop. And she's like, yeah, oh, she sold some. Let me go get her and a drink and I'll be right back. Be, be, be right back. I'm back with Callie. Callie's- Hi! Yeah, say hello, Aya, hi, there's your little chihuahua. Callie, yeah. you sold something out of FL88 and yeah. it was a cuties, ki uh, oh, where's your face? There you are. Uh, <laughs> this Cabbage Patch doll. Yeah, I have a lot of them. You sold one for $8. Can you go get it? It's in FL88. So Callie made her sale, very exciting, FL 88. Yeah, FL88, Callie will grab that. She's very excited. $8, Callie. After fees, uh, how much will that be? Let's see, let me think about it. Callie's climbing up the ladder. That's not good news. You need my help? No, I can't find It's right here. Bruh. Let's see, $8, fees are like 15%, so that's like 80 cents, $1.20, so Dad, you're gonna get like... I got a whole thing of these. I'll probably give Christmas. you like seven bucks, okay? Dad, I got... There it is, Cabbage Patch Cutie. You got a whole thing for Christmas? Yeah. And you didn't play with them anymore? That was a couple Christmases ago, right? Two Christmases maybe? Okay, so you get like seven bucks after fees, okay? Pretty good, thank you, appreciate but that. Also, I hurt my foot really bad on the stairs. On the stairs? What did you do on the stairs? Okay. Callie, what do you think of this new sticker I got? Okay, <laughs> you want an NZ Piggy sticker? Okay, you can have one. All right, Callie, thank you very much. I'm gonna pull something out of FL93 now. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, I think mom has, oh no, it's right there. Uh, Callie, this one right here, baseball glove. G give me a baseball glove. So this was an item in today's video that I, I dropped. So tonight is Sunday night. It's right at the bottom, Cal, right at the front bottom, under your hand, not even under the plush. It's right there, that big glove, that big brown glove. What? Yep, that, show them. All right, throw it at me, that works. <laughs> okay, this is a Wilson A2000 glove. This is a bolo alert, guys, bolo alert. I uh, found this at a yard sale, sale, Mark 20, and in my pursuit of trying to pick better items, not more quantity, this is my new goal in life, I looked it up. Cause I was like, you know what? If they're gonna market 20 bucks, it's probably a good glove. And when I looked it up, I saw that it sells for like 130 bucks. Listed it, Tina listed it. This is a part of her thing today when she went and listed better items. She found this, this one's the one she was like, what, this is worth that much? Listed it for 149.99 and it sold in four hours. So A2000 Wilson glove, $150 for this glove. I paid 20. Actually, I talked them down. I think I did two for 30. So I paid 15, I got, the other glove is worth like 40. So yeah guys, are you excited? I think some of you are like, finally, Dave's waking up. Because I feel like I am, I'm waking up. And honestly, I can kind of credit Flipcon for some of this. Maybe not the buying better quality items, I've started thinking that a while ago. But the whole like, hey, I need to get serious about listing the good stuff, shipping the good stuff, selling the good stuff. Uh, that is something that occurred to me really at Flipcon, just like, <sighs> I'm just not bringing in enough money for the amount of effort, and it's because I'm listing low quality items. And I'm gonna keep listing the low quality items. It's nice to ship easy stuff and to make five bucks here, five bucks there but I need to be mixing in better stuff. I need to be. Uh, so I can actually start seeing a difference in my, uh, in my finances, honestly. 
I want to start uh, blowing it out of the water with success this year. That's my goal, is to be successful. <laughs> Being successful would be a great thing. All right, next item that's sold is a plush. Maybe I should stop picking plush, but I just love them too much, so I have trouble not picking them. This is a very cute, like, Halloween-ish type cat. Kind of looks like a vampire cat. And it's, uh, what's it got a little thing around its neck in here. Hold on. Oh, that's a scale. I thought it was wearing a cape when I looked at the picture, but that's actually my scale. And that's in my uh, house in North Carolina. So this has been listed for a while. Not only that, but I see a Christmas tree in the background. I'm having issues with my camera, hold on. So uh, this has been listed for at least since Christmas last year. Sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping. Oh, the brand on that is Play School, Little Golden Book. Okay, anyways, back to what I was doing. I keep getting distracted. So I posted this video today. Um, and I know, listen, some of you are gonna get offended by the title, and I'm sorry. I love everyone named Karen. Everyone, you're all wonderful people. I actually grew up living near a Karen that I cared about very much, and I still care about her. Um, but Karen is a current vernacular, is that the right thing, the vernacular? For someone who's overly fussy, um, I'm not sure why that is what we call them, but that is what some people call them. And it also seems like on YouTube, if you name a video and include the word Karen, a lot of people click it. And I had this event where like, I had trouble figuring out how to describe this person other than like Karen-esque, because he's like screaming at the lady running the estate sale, saying, let me in, are you gonna let me into the sale yet? You need to let us into the sale, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he's like being very aggressive. And uh, it was kind of, a, kind of interesting. Uh, again, I kind of thought it was funny, but uh, it was definitely awkward too. And so it was a guy though, and like, what's a guy Karen called? And so I just said, male Karen um, starts a fight, tries to start a fight at a yard sale or something, or an estate sale. And I'm just uh, laughing at the comments, it's distracting me, because a lot of people think it's pretty funny. Louis L'Amour, this is uh, the leather bound Louis L'Amour books can sell. This is a movie called Joel, oh no, that's the actor. Stranger on Horseback is what the movie's called. It's a DVD, it's brand new sealed, sold for $15 plus shipping. Oh, interesting, I sold an inflatable, oh man, where did I put this? This is a nice sale too. This must have just sold as I started recording. Uh, let's see, it says it's an FL 77, but I'm having a hard time believing it. It's a wig, I got a wig in there. Really, FL 77? That's what it says, I might need help finding this. Hmm, yikes. Wait, is this it? No. Okay, so I sold an inflatable Halloween decoration. Halloween stuff is selling. Uh, it says it's an FL-77, it's clearly not, but I know it's here somewhere because I've seen it not too long ago. Um, so I'm gonna have to hunt it down. I'll show you a picture of it. I think I can find it. I should probably check, see if anyone bought any t-shirts or anything, um, as I haven't been paying attention to that because I've been traveling. Anyways, let me show you the picture and then I'll go hunt for it after. Okay, so this is a uh, nine foot lighted ghost decoration. Pretty cool, nine feet's huge. Sold it for 40 bucks plus shipping. I, I have an issue with the inflatable Halloween decorations. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But for me, they always fall. Like, I'll install them, I'll put down the spikes, but then wind will come and it'll knock over the uh, the decoration. Then I have to go back outside, I have to put it back up, I have to go outside, I gotta put it back up. It's very frustrating to me. Uh, so I don't know how many of those I'll be using in my future. For me, I'd much rather do like a blow mold or something like that, something that's gonna be stable and sturdy and all that stuff. This is a weird one. This is uh, Fitz and Floyd, which I think is a Bolo brand. FF is what it says on the bottom, 1990. So look out for that FF uh, tag. This sold for $12.50 plus shipping, which is pretty good. It's like a kingly rabbit. Okay, so it's actually 20 total orders for a grand total of $650. Isn't that a nice number? Way better than my usual $100 to $300 sales day, $649. And all we changed is we started listing high value items today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and we'll see you next time.